Day 60 on Debian. The end. So it's been officially two months on Debian, and I gotta say, I've installed probably seven different versions of Wine, messed up all my dependencies, installed a bunch of experimental packages, done pretty much everything I could do to this operating system, and the damn thing just keeps working. How can I make YouTube content when everything just works? You're killing me, Debian. You're absolutely killing me. So with that, I just can't stay on Buster or testing any longer. It's obvious I need to break something. It's like I've been without Windows for six months and there's just something about random updates and my system breaking that I miss. I absolutely have to have it. So with that said, I've done some modifications to my Debian and I am no longer on testing or Buster. I have gone to Sid, the dark side of Debian. So what did I do to switch everything over? Simply opened up my sources.list file and went ahead and commented out all the updates section because when you move to Sid or unstable, you go ahead and are on the bleeding edge anyway. So there is no update repository and this is what the sources.list file. Now having said that, be very careful when moving to Sid because there is no going back. Because once you move to Sid or Unstable, it's very difficult to transition back to a testing or a buster or a stable release. It's one of those things. So just know that up front. Now that I've done this, we're going all the way to the bleeding edge of Debian. So this may sound crazy going to Sid from a perfectly designed operating system of Buster that I was on. I wanted to stay on the stable side for my production machine, but there's just something in me that says, hey, get the latest and greatest, chase that new shiny object. I probably should go just do an Arch install again, but I said I'd stay on Debian, and I mean it. I really do want to stay on Debian for an entire year. And if these two months have proved anything, is Debian. Wow, you just can't get any more stable than that. I mean, I've tried to break this thing 10 ways to Sunday. Short of erasing the entire operating system, I just really did not do anything to it. No matter what I threw at it, some things would break, depending on what I did, but I could easily revert them. So, yeah, this is the two-month update. I am entirely bored of Buster and testing. When they put these things out, I was thinking, oh, hey, it's in testing. There might be some latest, greatest thing in here or something might break or no. It, it was just straight up everything working all the time. Very boring. I really miss stuff breaking. The bleeding edge where I can be like, oh, hey, that's, that's broken. I can make a, a YouTube video and kind of say, hey, this is what's coming out. Watch out for this. But when I'm unstable on my production machine, that just doesn't happen. Everything just works. So kudos to Debian. And if you were looking for something stable that you really never have to do much updates to, maybe once a month, go ahead and push, push through some updates. Uh, go ahead and do uh, Debian Buster. You know, it's about to release or drop here in the next couple of weeks. They're working through the last bug fix. But when it drops, it's going to be rock solid and you're going to be on this sucker for years. And it's a very boring experience as a, you know, coming from Windows as a Windows user for years and years and years. This is by far the most stable environment I've ever been in from a desktop perspective. It's ridiculous. I just can't say that enough. If you've seen any of my past videos, you know I've already said this, but I just want to reiterate this. I've tried my damnedest to break this operating system, and I have been a complete and utter failure. I haven't been able to do it. I've broken some stuff, but it was mainly me just installing the wrong package. And then I go, oh, hey, it doesn't work. Oh, I installed the wrong package and then I unload that bad source if I did it through like APT and then I just do an update and everything goes back to normal. Kind of crazy. 
So with that, Sid, I'm on testing or unstable now. Not even testing. I'm on unstable Debian. Leading edge, rolling release Debian. If that's not, that's really not a thing, but it's going to be a thing right now. I'm testing it on unstable, unstable Sid. So with that, guys, let me know what you think. I know I'm kind of crazy, but let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video.